We have learned fractions as part of a whole, and we've done a great job with that. We've also learned fractions as part of a set. And then we learned fractions as part of a number line. So we've learned three different ways to use fractions. Today, what we're going to do is we are going to take our knowledge about fractions, and we're also going to take our knowledge about estimating. That means making a guess. We've done that before with numbers. We've rounded numbers to the nearest 10, to the nearest 100, to the nearest 1,000. And today, we're going to combine both of those to use benchmark fractions to estimate fractions. Benchmark fractions are when you take a fraction that we commonly use. So for example, the fractions that I chose were one-fourth, one-half, and three-fourths. Because those are ones that we've been working on, and they're ones we usually use. Like when you use a measuring cup, usually it's one-fourth, one-half, and three-fourths. So that's what you pick. You pick one you usually use. And what I did was, I have a pencil here. Here's my pencil. And I'm going to estimate how long I think that pencil is. So I lined up the point with zero right here. So I'm looking at it, and I see that, you know, it's not quite there. It's not quite to the three-fourths. It's not quite to the one-half. It's not perfect, but that's okay, because we've learned with estimating it doesn't have to be perfect. You just round to the nearest point. So here it is between one-half and three-fourths. And I look and I see that that line is closer to three-fourths. So I would say my pencil is about three-fourths. Let's look at that number line again. Now if I were to just draw a line, and I'd start at the zero, and I'm just going to draw a line. Now I want to know about how long my line is. Once again, I'm just going to use benchmark fractions. I'm using one-fourth, one-half, and three-fourths. And I line it up, and I see that, you know what, it is not quite to one-half, but it's between one-half and three-fourths. So then I look at this line right here, and I try to decide which one it's closest to. And I look, and I can tell that it's closest to one-half. So I would say that this line is about one half. I can also use thirds. Look at the line that I drew. I drew it and it's between the zero and it's between one third. It's not quite to the one third yet, but when I look I see that it's just a little bit closer to the one third. So I could say this fraction is about one third. Here we have a candy bar, and I got really hungry, and I ate about this much of it. It was delicious. But I want to figure out about how much I ate of it. I don't know for sure, but one thing I can do is I can use a benchmark fraction to help me out. I can draw a line down in the middle. And I can look at this, and I can see that it's just, it's more than that middle line, and I know that middle line is half, so I know I ate more than half the candy bar. So what if I divided this candy bar into four pieces? So I'm going to make a line equal down the middle, and remember, I'm just estimating, so it doesn't have to be perfect, and I'm going to make a line equal down the middle, and I can see that this would be one-fourth of a candy bar, and this would be three-fourths of the candy bar. And if you look, I just about covered up three out of four pieces. So I could say I ate about three-fourths of my candy bar, and it was really good. I used benchmark fractions to help me estimate about how much of the candy bar I ate. It's not perfect, but I estimated Remember, you use benchmark fa fractions when the problem is asking you to estimate. You can think about keywords just like when we estimate when they ask you, say, about how much of a fraction is that, or to estimate. That's when we use benchmark fractions. Please practice with your teacher using the guided practice.